Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share, or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. Hello, welcome to Sparky Help. This time we're going to make a gusset bend using 45 by 45 bends in one piece of tray. So we need to mark out where it's going to be. And what you would normally do for a 90 is mark 45, 45, which is the width of the trunking either way. In this case, it's 100 mil. And you would do that. And if you didn't have a set square or it was too big for your square, you could just draw, draw diagonals, cut them out, and that would make a 90. The assumption therefore would be that if you did half of that and did those lines there, that that would give you a 45. This would be incorrect. This gives you over 45 degrees. So let's start again and let's do this again. And we'll do it mathematically first of all. So we need to find that distance there. So that we do is the tan of the angle. Well, we were looking for a 45, but we want to do half of each side, so that's a 22 and a half. So we find the tan of 22.5, and we multiply that by the width of the tray, which in this case is 100. And when we do that calculation, we get 41.4 mil. So that's what we need to measure, and we measure that either side. Mark that either side of our center line and then redraw our diagonals in. And this then will give us 945. But we can do this another way. Bit of paper, that's got 90 degrees already. Fold it in half on the corner, that'll give you 45. Fold it in half again, that gives you 22 and a half degrees. This saves a calculator, and as pride the paper's big enough, you can just use it as so to mark the lines. As you can see, they come out in the same place. And we can draw those lines in. Now we want to do the gusset. Well, that depends how big a gusset you want. So, you know, what sort of cable have you got going around it? So decide what your internal measurement. And we're going to work away from this point. So we'll go for a 50 mil internal. And this is the end. So we need to find the center. So we're going to use our bit of paper again. And this finds the center of that bend. And then we draw the diagonals from that location. Then we can use our bit of paper to find the next bend and draw those in. At this point, before cutting, make sure you are going the right direction. So I'm just going to mark up the bits I'm going to cut out. And if you've seen my videos before, I'm going to cut out the, di the triangles. Not everyone does. You don't need to. I'm going to cut those bits out. Make sure you go in the right direction and then grab your angle grinder or hacksaw, whatever you're using, or jigsaw. Cut those. The more accurate, the better you'll be. Those cut out. Cut those end bits out. And maybe we'll just speed this one up just to cut those. And now make sure you file up the ends. So before putting it all together, make sure everything is filed and nice and clean. So the law said so the holes won't line up, so we need to line up and drill holes for fixing. Make sure it is 90 degrees, we'll drill through those points. There we go. And then put in our gutter bolts or roofing bolts. Make sure they're tight. And make sure it is 90 degrees. And there you go. So, hope that helped. This is Sparky Help. Thank you very much.